overgrown tomb. And uh, Budakov has done the same thing. Yeah, so Budakov has Avacyn's Pilgrim. Uh, we're live with the final and is going to turn into a turn two Centaur Healer. Thanks very much. Uh, Maltico has no turn two play, so Butakov with the early advantage. 19 uh, plays 20 right now. Overgrown Tomb, ow, go to 17, says Butarkov. I'll make another Avacyn's Pilgrim, having hit you for four. So Maltico down to 16 uh, against 17. And Maltico, with a full grip of cards, is going to run out Somber Wild Sage and as I, we saw and last I can, round. And I could see, it, yeah, it was so Somber Wild Sage is just a, a powerhouse, uh -huh. fueling out angels early, powering out uh, Thrag Tusks. And I can see his hand, his hand is stacked with stuff to do with that Somberwald Sage. All right, Butarkov down to two cards in hand right now um, as we head for turn four. He's just cast Grizzly Savage. You see a Crater Hoof Behemoth in the graveyard and Unburial Rites in the graveyard. So here is Unburial Rites. Here is Crater Hoof Behemoth. Nine, nine trample, five, five trample, seven, seven trample, <laughs> five, five trample game. That is insane. So tell me about Holmes Hand again. It was quite good. Uh, it was just, it was, if, he, if he had gotten to untap, I mean, he was going to be able to take out three of those creatures with an Angel of Serenity. Yep. But no. His hand was really good. Great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? No, I believe it. It was terrific. Was it really good? Yeah. It was chock full of stuff. Yeah. And now he's looking at a sideboard, having lost on turn four. That was crazy. That was that Grizzly Salvage, end of turn, it set it up, Restoration Angel was in the graveyard, and this Crater Hoof Behemoth just taking it down in no time at all. Butarkov, who has only won one round of standard so far today. What? Yep. He went 0-3. Remember, he was our overnight leader. He went 0-1, 0-2, 0-3. Had to win this to get him in. There you see uh, his deck, the one Abrupt Decay, four Acidic Slime, three Deathrite Shaman. Oh. Uh, wading through the sideboard in the company of uh, Rashad Miller. A couple of Slayer of the Wicked. <laughs> Tragic Ooh, El Elder Scale Worm. <laughs> that's a... That's all the sevens thing, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's sort of the stabilizer, right? Mm -hmm. There you see it. All the sevens. Slayer of the Wicked is also an interesting card. Uh-huh. So really, a lot, a, lot of, a lot of interesting cards that we're seeing make its way in the sort of last leg of this standard iteration in terms of, of blocks that are, are in there. Mm -hmm. you know, we're really starting to see people rummaging around in the, the dusty basements of Innistrad and <laughs> finding some interesting cards. And and there really are some interesting cards. In, in I know we're sort of talking rhetorically about dusty basements, but Innistrad is full of just really interesting nuggets. It's one of the reasons the limited format right. was so phenomenal. And, and one of the things that uh, Marshall and I were talking about is the idea that we saw Slayer Stronghold, uh, Nefalia Drownyard, mm -hmm. we saw Kessig Wolf Run, we saw the whole cycle. We saw five whole different cards right. from, from that cycle uh, see play in this tournament. Yep. Uh, interesting talking to Reed just about how hugely he respects these two as we gear up for showtime. Any minute now. Here we go. Batarkov leads 1-0. to zero. Look at his time clock. It took him 1 minute and 6 seconds. And so I can tell you his, his opening hand. Uh, Budakov opening... Uh, Budakov's going to mulligan? Yes. And to 5 now. Will he go to four? No, he's going to keep his hand on four. Keeps five, and we're away. Maltico with Godless Shrine. Oh, it's Maltico who mulligan. Maltico who mulligan. Oh. Budakov's hand is Orzov Charm, Angel of Serenity, Arbor Elf, Grizzly Salvage, Acidic Slime, an Avacyn's Pilgrim, and a Gavany Township. Oh, wow. Butarkov looking at mulligans are plenty. He's one ahead. And Maltico, only four cards in hand right now. He's made a Deathrite Shaman. Arbor Elf, Avacyn's Pilgrim for Butarkov. This is potentially a blisteringly quick final BDM. Yes. This is... We're, we're you know, and again, even quicker than normal because we don't have all that shuffling. Yep. <laughs> Here we see uh, Budakov gearing up, untapping. 
There's his Grizzly Salvage. The game-winning Grizzly Salvage last time around. Let's see what uh, hits the graveyard there. There's a Thrag Tusk. Tragic Slip. Oars of Charm. And another Grizzly Salvage. And Malteco is still uh, sitting on... Oh, uh, my gosh. No way. Oh, my is gosh. This, is this going to be the end? Are we going to see result? On Land him? death, as Conley Woods oh. likes to call it. Acidic Slime takes out Malteco's one oh. land. Malteco has nothing. Literally nothing. <coughs> Just that death right Shaman. You see this huge swathe of empty battlefield. Borderland Ranger, rub that in. I'll go get a land. You can't yeah. have one. But Tarkov, surely moments away. He's cast Gavany got Gavany Township down as well. Look at all these creatures. That Gavany Township's going to get out of hand. Destroy target creature. He kills. He uh, uh, more destroys yet another mana creature. More mana to g going away. The man from the Russian Federation. The man with 907 qualifying points is going to take it all. There it is! Dmitry Budikov we wins two games to zero at, in less than 10 minutes. If you blinked, it was over. One minute and 59 seconds on his clock. In less than two minutes, 25,000 US dollars. A place it at the Magic World Championships in Amsterdam later this year. And the title. Magic Online Champion, yeah. Dmitry Butakov. Uh, uh, just unbelievable. I mean, and again, there, there you get a look at him. There you can see you can see his face. Uh, debuted in 2010. Played in 16 Mox Championships. Yep. Uh, he top aided one, won one. Made the most of the opportunity. And he is now a Magic Online Champion. You know, it's 60, 1,444 qualifier points. <laughs> yeah, and as I say, over 900 of those in 2012. Sure. And then, you know, when you put up a 60% win percentage, that's yeah. that's just, that's the formula for success in Magic and, and on any platform.